Oh. Well, good morning from not Canada. Canada, eh? Yo! What up, y'all? Welcome back to another one. Check this out real quick. Look at all these little frogs. Bodie Allen, y'all know who Bodie is, my boy. These are all going to be big bullfrogs. And this is Bodie and I's new lease pond. Uh, I just acquired this lease and it's like a half section. I showed you guys on a, uh, on a dove hunt a few videos ago. Um, I think I filmed this pond actually. But uh, here we are, first time hunting it. And I couldn't be more excited. Uh, been wanting to hunt this place for a long time. So I can't believe it. I'm pretty sure I am, uh, I'm the first one that's ever like leased it for a whole year for turkey, ducks, dove, deer. I think there's been some guys that leased it for deer and it's a really good deer spot. But um, yeah, um, I better hurry up. I was putting up uh, the decoys here. I'll show you what we got. This pond needs to be like up here. That's how low we are on water here in Kansas. But obviously it holds really well. Lots of cattle pasture out here. As you can tell, it's like Mars. We got one, two spinners, and a flicker. Got them about 20 yards from us, 25 yards-ish. Uh, about perfect, I was sitting up the decoys and a dove went right over me. He was like, Bob, I'm like, huh. There's, there's one we missed out on, but. Beautiful morning, sitting at 40, Five degrees 45 degrees it says it says 45 degrees but feels like 51 I don't understand that but it's pretty chilly my hands are cold same same real quickly I have two things to tell y'all number one uh, we had some dates pop up um, open up at Sand Hill Flyways for this coming fall if you guys are interested in booking a hunt coming and duck goose hunting yes this will be one of the properties we will be hunting. And uh, at the end, I'll take you around and show you a couple of the ponds. Uh, it's got three ponds on it, uh, on a whole half section. So, um, father, sons, minimum of two. Uh, biggest question I've had, Bobby, I don't have eight for a full group. You don't need eight. Minimum two up to however many you wanna bring. So uh, that's number one. <clears throat> if you are interested in booking a hunt and coming here and hunting with me, uh, all you got to do is go to sandhillflyways.com. It's always linked down below and fill out the inquire to book form. Make sure that your phone number is correct on there so yours truly can call you. That's the people been fat thumbing their phone numbers for some reason or people don't want to put them on there. You got to put your number on there so I can get a hold of you. Number two, me and old P. Diddy are giving away a dove slash teal hunt uh, for a lucky uh, dude or gal over on my podcast. Yes, it is always linked down below at the top of the description as well. Uh, we're drawing for that like today or tomorrow. So get on it. Tell your buddies. Go over there. I can uh, I can be me. I can say what I want to. Have fun. Have some freedom over there. Unlike here. But let's roll. Are you ready? What all you well, got over here? What all you got? You got. I have never drank this. He's hooked on these. The papillon with the butterflies. That's your deal, huh? That's my deal. You gonna go through all these shells to kill 15 birds? Probably. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> me too. Me too. I I, I brought an absolute uh, herd of shells. We got dove. They landed on the tree next to us. Come on, little buddies. You can do it. Pitch on down from that tree, would you? Well, we got some doves sitting on the trees. It's really chilly still and the dove aren't really wanting to fly. So, Jeremy's gonna try to walk this one out. Ooh, he's getting really close. <laughs> uh oh. Pull your gun up. Pull your gun up. 
There you go. Nice! That was beautiful, dude. Good job. Dude, that was perfect. He just killed it. Heck yeah, he's a good shot. Well, first bird down for uh, for both of us. You know what to do, come on. Smash the thumbs up button. Especially for Jeremy. Uh, he goes back to Canada tomorrow. And we've just had so much fun dove and teal hunting together and him getting to stay at the lodge. And uh, Jeremy's been a subscriber for a very, very long time. And um, I really appreciate him so much. He uh, always sends me artwork and all sorts of uh, awesome stuff. He's the one that drew. I can show you when I get home. That's what we'll do, I'll show you. Uh, the skateboard, the bottom of it with Fred and the Mallard. Y'all remember that? If not, I'll show you when we get home. He's a tattoo artist um, from the Toronto area. And uh, he has been uh, professionally tattooing for 18 years and he is amazing. Absolutely beautiful work. It's a big, uh, big deal to have him down here. He got off this tree, right? You yeah. shot him over here, definitely. He felt like... Right over, that was a good shot. You waited and just smashed it. Yeah. He should be like over here. I believe like right here. Dude, they're so, they blend in so bad. Like <laughs> you cannot see them. They're the perfect color, you know? All right. Search and rescue crew is initiated. There he was in the thick of it. Boom. Oh. oh. Are we both gonna tag team? Oh man, hold on. Oh yeah, get him. Yeah, we in the nasty water. That's not good. That's that's nasty right there. I don't know if that was me or you, dog. I think we fired that second time, same exact time. Good teamwork though, good teamwork. Yes, sir, yes, sir. You gonna grab him? Yeah. Or I can grab him. On the board! He came right in there. He landed directly right next to the mojo. Flew on that tree right there. Hope I got that all in the shot cam. Shop. Shot cam. Two came in, two died, dude. That was awesome. Hell yeah. That was awesome shooting. Hell yeah. It's about to pick up, man. It's about to pick up. So we got one on the bank, then we got one in the water again. The thing about the water is, uh, the dove flying right here. Uh, so the thing about the water, I, I was thinking about bringing Fred because of the water issue, but it's very, very, very stagnant water, and I don't want Fred in there. So, or Judge, because his paw's still messed up. So, um, we're playing retriever with long, long sticks. <laughs> We're going to go pick these up, but we are uh, four on the board total for both of us, so two and two. Well, we just smashed another one. It's picking up now. They are all doing the exact same thing, which is uh, they're landing right here, right where the mojo is. Basically, they either land right next to the pole, or they land right next to this flock of flicker. It's amazing. I got this mojo sideways. He's right here somewhere, right? Boom, boom. I can tell his gola is full of corn. So these dove went and ate. Uh, they all feed on a cornfield, and I do not know what cornfield it is around this area. Uh, but they come back with a gullet full of corn to this water. So now that the sun's up, it's really warming up quickly now. It should get hot and heavy. So see if we can scratch a two-man off this deal. All right. Perfect little shady spot. Awesome, dude. <laughs> I got one, dude. That was a three pack. Oh, dude, get ready. Load up. Out front. Holy crap.
dude, three pack just floated in here from the right. I oh, smashed. Right, it. Yeah, I think he's on the bank. Dude, just just like ducks, like rap. You were rocking a pee. <laughs> I was like, oh, he's definitely shooting without his pants done up. Oh, that's hilarious. If one time you would go to use the old restroom back really there. Just, just thought about it too. A three pack just rap. Boom. Oh. Oh. They're out there. <laughs> They're yeah. definitely out there, aren't they? <laughs> oh man. Oh, They're it literally is. literally all coming from that way. This, yeah, not being able to see them coming really sucks. They're all, um, like you said, they're all coming from over our <clears throat> right shoulder over here, this little alleyway, going right to the mojo, and you just can't see them coming. There's some big dead trees behind us, and uh, can't see them coming. Uh, we've been tearing them up, and uh, haven't got the camera on as much as I'd like to. Oh, 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 oh. Gonna land right there. He landed right there. He's gonna look at us. Oh, he's dead. Oh. Holy cow, that's like 20 birds right there. Whoa. I, you didn't? I had to go. I had to go on that close one that went right. I'm gonna go find him before I lose him. This is really good. Like, really. Oh, get that guy. Oh. Oh. Jesus. Yeah, it can be tough. They, when they get out there a little ways, man, I'm telling you, you can really see them coming from right here, dude. We should sit like right here. We would definitely probably shoot more seeing them coming. There's one flying here. Come on in here, buddy. Oh, yeah. dead <laughs> over on your left shoulder coming over somewhere one flying all right he landed right here where are you at well we had to uh switch spots just a little bit uh because a lot of the birds, like I was saying earlier, are coming through here. So now, got a good line of sight. So, man, look at that five pack. Here comes a single. Here he comes. Oh, come this way. Get ready, right here. Oh, oh, get him! Oh. He la he landed on a tree. Oh, get him! Ah, he's too far out. <laughs> Dude, I, he was so close right here. I knew I was gonna miss. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it, dude. They are so hard to hit sometimes. When they're that close, Dove will humble you up. Like, so many people have been in the comments like, Bob, people think they're a good wing shooter. Take them Dove hunting, you know. It will humble you up in a hurry. I don't know what I shot that first shot. I got a bag of shells here that kind of a plethora. And that first shot was thunder. I don't know what it was. <laughs> like, it was like, go goo! Oh, right here, two, two. Shoot them. Yeah, y'all. Boom, boom. That one fell there and there. Nice. Come on. You know what to do. Those are easy to find. Heck yeah. Two in, two out. I was like, ah, I got to catch up to Jeremy. I definitely need to catch up. You're beating my butt. <laughs> now we're tied. 
This is awesome, man. You like it? We could have, uh, like I was telling Jeremy, I was like, man, we definitely could have slept in a little more. Um, what, what time did you wake up? 6.30. 6.30? Yeah, I think I woke up like 6.15. And uh, we sat down at probably, I don't know, 7.30, something like that. And uh, we were probably two hours too early. Um, let's see what time it is. It is 9.22. So uh, I would say being 45 degrees this morning, these dove don't want to fly much um, until it really warms up. The south wind has really kicked in, warmed up a lot, um, and now we're smashing. So if you are hunting in the mornings, um, water, I would wait until about 9 o'clock. And then that's the time they start firing up. So come on, guys. Let's get this bad boy to like a lot. You tell me. Thank you. Oh, you did you you hit him? Yeah. Yeah, he went down hard. Nice, dude. That was a close shot. That's hard, dude. That is the hardest shooting in the world of wing shooting possible. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Like, that's not even 10 yards away from you. Nice, dude. Got one in him. This is amazing, man. Amazing. So much fun. Uh, we were debating on going, um, get him, flew right, into that tree right there. flew right by me and didn't even know it, you probably, you guys probably seen that, he dead, he dead, huh, uh, we were debating on hunting till this morning, but, um, uh, we did have that cold front, cold, cold, cool front getting down in the 40s, 50s at night now but uh, what it did do was bring in more dove uh, the cold front you would think it'd push our dove out which it probably did but I would expect like Nebraska to be pretty empty on dove now if you guys are from Nebraska let me know drop a comment down below let me know. Did you guys lose about all your dove um, if so your bird showed up here uh, probably yesterday and today so um, still really good gonna get the dove hunting in while we can uh, but it's gonna be scouting time uh, tomorrow, the next day for the teal, now that the cool weather's here. Uh, I scouted a bunch and, and we did the one teal hunt on opener. We shot one, uh, that's pretty much how I knew it would go, but now the birds should start, should start showing up and uh, I'm ready to go, ready to go. Just, I knew that this was gonna be a banger dove hunt. I wanted to have some hot barrels today. Nothing, huh? He landed in this tree? Yeah. Oh, he's right here, he's dead. That's your bird right there. Look, one in the chest, dude. Just one in the chest. I'll be dang, man. Nice shot. <laughs> nice shot. We might have to just walk his little butt right on out. Right here on this tree, just looking at me. Oh, look at these, these got up. All right, so how about you stand up? We get in the line and we walk towards them. I would draw your gun and get ready. Oh, there you go, smash him. That was a double team action there. That was sick. Both shots, I've seen both shots go what what? That was bad. Yeah, there's another one on the right coming right here. Right here. Come on, don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Right here, shoot him. In the tree. He is in the tree. I'll get him. You get the other one. He just fell out. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. Yeah. Freaking sweet. Just. Easy money, baby. Gosh, this is perfect. They're like, that thing is an alien. Look at them. Technology, seeing technology for the first time. <laughs> They're just staring at it.
getting in there, they're getting themselves drink. We shut her down and let the old cows get what they need. Yeah. I want to see one of them put their nose on the wing and it hits it and they're like, what the? Uh-oh. They're definitely going to step. Oh, uh, they're not stepping on the spinners, are they? Oh, they're getting really close to that one. They are all huddled around it just what is it? Mom, what is it? I don't know. Probably touched his nose. Oh, get out of here! Hey, hi! Get him, man, dude! They get out so fast. He didn't even see that one coming. <laughs> he did not. There he is. He needs a little neck ringing. Oh, right here, right here, right here, right here. Ah, oh, I was over him. I wish, I wish they would cycle. Um, I don't know what gun they would cycle good in, but I have some of the shorties. I'll try to shoot one. It's definitely not going to cycle. That that is for sure, but. Let's do it. Try to shoot a with it. Let's try first. Alrighty, let's give her a, a whirl. Oh. There's so little, you gotta feed them in there, right? Oh, oh that. Oh. oh sh the shorty show. shorty shell in and when it fired it went just itty bitty two of them okay or no only one oh i was over i know i was i was over him i was on top of him uh no two more behind us right here same same path right here Shoot him. Nice! Boom! One and one, dude. Alright, we better go find them before we lose track. Alright. We are almost limited out. We are getting there. Awesome. I haven't had a dove limit yet this season uh just little hunts public hunts this will probably be my first limit out day so heck yeah on the new leaf first time ever shooting a gun out here pretty much all righty i kept my mark on them right around this tree one kind of went on this side and the other one went on that side i thought we walked back up here from picking up our birds just trying to drag one of the doves in the bush right behind us. I was like, how big was it? <laughs> I don't know if we'll shoot anything, but it's worth trying. <laughs> it's always worth trying. It is. Got old G-Wagon with us now. He showed up. Uh, pond number two. This one, uh, last year when we found it, um, we had a lot of rain. A lot of rain and a lot of water. And uh, this year we don't and this thing is huge when it's full but check it out awesome hide around the edges for a frames anywhere you want to go depending on the wind and this thing should be way that way and then it should see where it ends it should wrap all the way out that way so 
awesome little pond. If we were to get good rain and cold, I think there might be some till on these. Could be. Right, there's not some. I know, right? It was only cold for one day though, really. Yeah. I think you're right about the dove showed up with the cold. Oh yeah, that field that I'd been hunting in back home is even bigger now. Jeez, over a thousand? Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. I like mosquitoes over there. There's a lot. Well, back home, and like I promised, I wanted to show you uh, Jeremy's skateboard that he made me. He sent this to me probably a year and a half ago, if I had to guess. And uh, let me sit it up. Actually, I'll just show you here. Check it out. It's got Jeremy Zettler, 2021. The Ducks logo on the bottom. Fred with what looks like a teal, small duck. And then Fred again with a big old mallard. I remember that day. Both of these uh, photos were probably taken by Brad or the other Brad, I would suppose. So these were actually my hunts. And... Uh, Amazing just a blank skateboard sent it to me and I was like dude. You just touched my heart a lot of you know uh, I grew up skateboarding and that's um Skateboarding is one of the primary reasons why I found YouTube um, the artsy side of it music expression mm, Confidence in yourself to go do whatever right a lot of that came from skateboarding and big shout out to uh, Jeremy for not only doing this but uh, for coming down and just kicking it. I took him to the state fair. Uh, we just had a really good time, you know? Just chilling. Uh, not a lot of teal around, unfortunately. I, I wish there had been, but we made the best of it. We dove hunted two or three times. We teal hunted once. And we did a lot of chilling and grilling. That's for sure. You guys gotta follow old Jeremy right here. Awesome tattoo artist, again, up by Toronto from Canada. Uh, one of my great buddies now. I made it. I made a great new friend, lifelong friend. I just, I can feel it. Awesome dove hunt though. Um, the farmer, I asked him, I was like, would you mind if I took a bobcat, bobcat, a skid steer, a tractor, a small uh, backhoe or something and clean those ponds out? He was like, do whatever you want, Bob. I don't care. Um, this farmer is very close to me and uh, has just gave me so much rights to his stuff and I just want to say thank you. I, I don't want to say his name on here and his personal info, but uh, just thank you to all the landowners and farmers that um, that do business with me and that are my friends. If, if I couldn't be friends with them, we wouldn't be able to do business. Every, uh, every business transaction with leases, if you can't be their buddy, they're probably not going to do business with you. So. Uh, money isn't everything. Money is not everything. Um, it's the financial side, but if you can't be cool with them and respectful, you ain't gonna get nowhere. So, just wanted to say that. But remember, we are giving away that hunt for one lucky guy uh, or gal over on my podcast. Blind Talk Podcast is always linked down below at the top of the description. It is on Patreon. It is not on Spotify or iTunes or anything like that yet. We're trying to get there, uh, but we do a lot of awesome things over there, especially now that the season's firing up, a lot of special guests, a lot of decoy giveaways, hunt giveaways, gear giveaways, new sponsors for the podcast. So if you haven't checked it out, check it out. But thank you guys for subscribing there. Secondly, the lodge, we got some room, some room. Some new room, I should say, has opened up. If you are interested in coming uh, this fall and waterfowl hunting with me for three days of hunting, uh, full lodging, three meals a day, and we process, handle, and tag all of your birds for you. That is the rundown. Um, minimum of two to book, maximum of whatever we have availability for. So if you're interested, again, fill out the inquire to book form. Uh, it is always linked down below, sandhillflyaways.com. You can type it in, you can smash a link, fill it out, make sure your phone number's right, like I stated, so I can get a hold of you. Please, serious inquires only. We're only about a month and a half out from uh, season opener for guide season. So if you're interested, please, serious inquires only. Subscribe if you haven't. A lot of good uh, videos to come. Hopefully we get some more teal showing up. Did some scouting today. Not a lot of luck, but found a few opportunities. Make sure to smash that little bell down there. You know what I'm talking about, the notification bell. It'll notify you when I upload. Hunting season's here. If you don't like it, 
Come back and turn it off. Have a good one. That's all I need to know and all you need to know, babe. Since you've been gone, I've been getting laid back.